Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. This is Chuck. Today we're doing another 6.5 Creedmoor Versus. You guys seem to watch a lot of these, even when you disagree with the video. But today we got an old school 6.5, the 6.5 by 284 Norma, loaded by Nosler with the 129 grain Acubond Long Range. And now we got the 129 grain Acubond Long Range in the 6.5 Creedmoor. So we have the 6.5 Creedmoor and its daddy. We got the 6.5 by 284 Norma and a 24 inch barrel Savage 110, excuse me, Savage 111. And we have a 24 inch barrel Vergara HMR for the 6.5 Creedmoor. Obviously, we're not doing accuracy test or a long range test with the scope I have on here. We are going to do short range penetration test, ballistics chart, chronograph. You guys know the deal. So let's look at the boxes. The 6.5 Creedmoor is supposed to be going 28.50. And doesn't say the ballistic coefficient anywhere on the box. It's a little weird for Acubon Long Range. Saw a guy in the Facebook group, group the other day who did up all the math and said their ballistic coefficient by Nozzer was wrong. Hopefully that's not the case. So here's the 6.5 by 284 Norma. 129 grain. And the box says 29.65. So the old school Norma, now this started out life as a 284 Winchester and a lot of Wildcatters put in the 6.5 bullet. So Norma went ahead and decided to go ahead and standardize it as the 6.5 by 284 Norma. Of course, most of y'all know the story and the marketing behind the Creedmoor, also known as the Dean Moore. So just to show you, here are the differences between the cases. You can see that 6.5 by 284 Norma. It's just a little bit longer. Not quite a true long action to match the 270 or the 30 odd six. A little shorter than that, but still a lot more case capacity. Unfortunately, I don't have a 6.5 PRC to test with it. I wish I did. Put that in the comments if you want to see that next. So just for reference, here is the 6.5 by 284 Norma. Just shown up close next to a 270 Winchester case. So you can see that the 270 Winchester is longer than the Norma, which is longer than the Creedmoor. So is it going to be the new Darling Child or the old venerable 6.5 by 284 Norma? 6.5 versus 6.5 today. Here we got the 6.5 Creedmoor and the Bergara HMR. Love this rifle. Twenty-seven thirty-seven. Twenty-seven thirty-six. Twenty-seven twenty-one. Twenty-six eighty-two. Oh, that one looks bad. Twenty-seven eleven. So the Creedmoor didn't get quite as fast as it said it was going to on the box. Let's see about the 6.5 by 284 Norma. Here we go, 6.5 by 284 Norma. Twenty-nine eighty-one. Now I gotta go fix my thing. Make my gun safe here. Here we go, second shot, 6.5 by 284 Norma. Twenty-nine forty-four. Chronograph turned a little bit on that one. Twenty-nine thirty-nine. And I got one more round in my pocket here for five shots. Twenty-nine sixty. So, put what you think will win the penetration test in the comments. We saw that the Normo really was that much faster. 
and probably would be a better caribou or moose round if that's what you decide to use it for over the Creedmoor. But what do you think wins in the comments? The first the add-up slide and then the penetration test. So here is our add-up slide. I will not insult you by reading it to you. You guys can pause the video and read it yourself. Some interesting notes. The 6x3 more is supposed to be really good at standard deviation. Here it is not doing a great job at standard deviation. Of course, neither did the 6.5x284 Norma. Under 20 is almost decent for factory ammo. Under 15 is decent for factory ammo. Under 10 is good for factory ammo, but not good for hand loads. You guys know how it does. Here is the long range chart between the two. You can see even out at 1500 yards, there's more velocity and more energy with the 6.5 x 284 Norma and a little bit less in wind drift because of that speed. So that is pretty awesome in my opinion as well. It's a better long range cartridge more than likely. This week's shout out goes to Gunfather Precision. Great channel, all sorts of caliber reviews, all sorts of shooting reviews, long range shooting, if you want to get into long range shooting and you want to discuss a lot of things, go over to Gunfather Precision. Link is in the description below. Make sure you go like and subscribe all his videos. Share all gun videos on YouTube because YouTube ain't sharing them for us. Also, don't forget to go subscribe to my music channel, Boss Custom Music Writing, where I do classical music like the string quartet hip hop you are listening to right now, which is the movement six of that. Go check it out. Link in the description. I really need to grow that channel, so I'd appreciate it if you guys would check that out. Here we go, we got the Pagara HMR 6.5 Creedmoor. Penetration test down there. We got ribs, a couple old milk jugs filled with water, and then water jug. Wet uh actually dry sales flyers to stop the bullet this time. Alright, 6.5 Creedmoor. Here we go. Well, I think it hit dead center. Let's go see how we did. Okay, so we walked up here to see how we did. We can see both of the milk jugs were totally destroyed. All right, here's the little one. Looks like he kind of went through the side of the little one. The <laughs> This is where I was aiming, right here, for dead center. And that's where I hit. This thing flipped totally around. That's the axle exit hole there. You can tell the exit hole is way bigger. You see? Right there. And then this other milk jug. I mean, it just, the shock wave. And that's what a rifle does. People call 6.5 Cream more sorby boy caliber or whatever they want to say, but run right through there. Looks like it tore a small hole out the back. And it looks like we have a bullet in here. Looks like we might have had jacket separation. I, oh, I can't tell. A little weird. No? I don't think we did. We had a few leg fragments in there. That's what it was. A few lead, lead fragments. That's not a bad bullet right there. People, Somebody in the comments told me these busted apart like ELDX does, but these are the 129 grain Acubon long ranges. and At short range, they do better than the ELDX, I would say way better because the LDX at short range just doesn't even uh just doesn't even cut it uh, at all at short range it busts apart like a v-max but at long range it does about better but yeah i like that so far let's see how it does in the 6.5 by 284 norma here we go this is the 6.5 x 284 norma right here same test milk jug ribs and water jug to catch it here we go Well, it blew everything apart. Let's see how we did. All right, so we did another destroying of the ribs. I was aiming right for this piece of steak. That's where the, uh, or right for that little picture right there. And that's where the bullet hit, you can see. Did a little bit more damage to the ribs. Not a lot, but a little bit. You can see what's left over the first little milk, almond milk carton. Some rib juice in it. And then 
It looks like it's only in the uh, first water jug, actually. Oh, no, no, we had another water jug down here, didn't we? We put a third, a second water jug in, it hit dead center there, and it's in the second water jug. All right, looks like it's peeled back a little bit more. And we do have one little fragment on the table. So there we are, not bad. Looks like that's a fragment off of that hollow point right there, or that pedal right there, but yeah. And maybe a fragment in the first jug. No, I don't see any, but some little tiny fragments here on the table. It's not even worth counting, but there they are right there, so. Let's get these bullets back to the house and weigh them and compare them. All right, we're back at the house with the 6.5 x 284 Norma, which absolutely crushed the 6.5 Creedmoor. Both in the numbers, and the penetration was the same, but kind of did more damage. So, let's put the Norma up here on the scale, which you've already zeroed out. 70.6. Now, that is with the pedal we found that fell off. Remember, these are the same weight bullet. And let's see the Creedmoor. I expect the weight retention to actually be higher on the Creedmoor. 80.0, which makes sense since it was going slower. And that does include the two pedals that we found with its test. Now, let's take those pedals off. What we got? 72.7. And not put the one pedal on the Norma. 66.8. Now, I apologize. We just moved and my digital calipers were not available. So I'm going to tune these up just a hair. So I got my trusty old Hornady ones. Let's see here. Expansion at its widest point. This one actually expanded more being the Norma because it peeled back more. Its widest point that I can measure is 0 0.52. Looks like 0 0.524, 0.5235, something like that. And the Creedmoor, which actually expanded, had wider pedals since some of them didn't fall off. It's like holding it there, squeezing it, you get 0.6, get 0.624 here. Widest point of the mushroom is 0 0.4449, 0 0.4449 or so. So, it's been a while since I've read analog calipers, forgive me. For everybody who thinks I'm a 6.5 Creedmoor fanboy, and I kind of am, the old school 6.5 spanks it. So, if you're really looking for a long range caliber, and you want it to be super flat shooting with high ballistic coefficient bullets, the 6.5 by 284 Norma is a really, really nice caliber. I'm not saying you have to go out and replace your Creedmoor. I'm not advocating buying any guns on this channel. But that is something you should definitely check out if you're into long-range shooting. Thank you for watching the 6.5 Creedmoor versus the 6.5 by 284 Norma video. We are on Instagram, Patreon, Facebook. Make sure you check us out all of those places. God bless, take care, we will see you at the range.